This is my HSP bazooka buggy, as you can see. Uh, this story of this car was that it was $30. Um, I got it from an op shop, which I didn't know about HSP then. And so I thought I'll give it a whirl and hopefully I can get parts if it breaks. And I did. So I've broken it a couple of times. It's had a shocker. It got damaged, so I ended up putting new shocks on um, the wheels. These are the Pioneer Louisi wheels. And the ones that were on it were actually over here. They were these. Um, so these are just slightly, slightly bigger, the Pioneer ones, to the originals. Um, but yeah, the yellow is cool, but I like the black. I like the way the black stands out on it now. And um, the body shell, that's a different body shell. It's a new body shell they put on, which I've already busted, unfortunately. Um, the nose, I didn't cut out very well, and it was a bit thin, and it's, as you can see, it snapped off there. Um, so, unfortunately, that's happened. But the paint job, I'm really happy with. Um, I've had that on my channel earlier. So, it's a, a green at the front with the yellow coming in the, at the back of it. So, it sort of works with the spoiler at the back um, the shocks they're not original they're GV shocks and I like them they seem to work quite well they're not too bad um, they got yeah they're not bad they got a bit of they're nice so I'm happy with them um, it's a fighter uh, what is it fighter by bitty design um, Body shell compared to the original one, which is just down here. Here is the original one. Um, so it's a bit different. Um, it obviously fits better than the other one I've got, which sort of tucks into the sides here, unfortunately. Um, but it still works for me. I think it still looks good like that. And I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually going to um, try and get some some body uh, clips to come up through here. So I will endeavor to do because I don't mind the look of it like that. What do you guys reckon? I reckon it looks alright like that. It's sort of a bit of an opened front, but. It'll actually help it breathe better too and get some air in there better because um, the motor has got a bit warm. And what else can I say? Well, thanks to actually uh, Hobbies Direct, I must say, who have um, given me the parts Then things are broken. And um, they've had, I put sway bars on it, as you can see there. I didn't have sway bars on the, I think, front or back, and I end up getting some through. Hobbies Direct, which sell quite a bit of HSP stuff, and um, I'll just rip this body off, and you can see, just hold on a tick, alright, that's the pin, that's the front pin not doing anything, but so, that is the guts of it, as you can see it's got a, I can't remember the KV, 2399 KV motor, brushes um, and oh look it goes well it's I run it on 4s sometimes and it's the last video with the little clip of it I didn't have much video of this because my cameras well it didn't quite go to plan but um, in that last video you would have seen this car just for a glimpse and so I've got I've got to set up these ones these connectors too so if I'm running two, two S's, I can do that. Um, i just hook it in. So, you know, I like to run XT90s. I know uh, some other YouTubers like the XT uh, connectors too. Oh, I reckon they're better than the Deans. Um, yeah, I think they actually, I've noticed a little bit of difference. So, and the servo, this is a different servo than it came stock. So that's it just there. If you can pick that up, read it. So that's it there. But look, I gotta say, this car is brilliant, really. It's just a bit of fun. Um, 
it's worked quite well. I've enjoyed it. I mean, I'm not a big... I haven't been in the hobby for long. Um, but I, I must say, this has been one of my... It's the cheapest one I've got. And it's been <laughs> probably... It's been quite fun. Um, I like it to stance, have a stance a bit taller, but it's a buggy, so it's not going to be monster truck. It's a buggy, so it's always going to have a lower stance. And uh, I've got these. I've actually made up these down here. That is, I've actually made them up. I'm going to make some more for all my cards. Um, just uh, show you what I've got while I'm here. Just spinning around here. So what I've got is the... The Truggy, which is a Select 4 Truggy, and look, it's awesome fun too. It's got the big tyres. It's almost got one eighth tyres, really, um, but it's supposedly only one tenth scale. But um, so that motor, I've, you've seen other videos. That's got a 3652 can um, hobby wing in it, and with the same no, the stock um, ESC in it, which seems to work because it's got its heat um, sensor lead there that goes into the that can which yeah, I think it might have got hot yesterday though and I think I got 15 minutes out of it and then it was actually getting hot too hot and I think it might have kicked in the thermo or either that or my um, my battery was actually dying because it did slow down so normally when it's dead or when it's had enough and gone to cut off it'll um low battery cut off it'll just go slow but that one's a huge amount of fun and this one here it's been in videos a while ago now i need to do some more and get it out and see it go um but this is the same family as as the truggy is that one and this one's obviously um select four brand of helium um which I don't know what they're doing now actually with that, but they they'll still get parts and I probably should get some parts unless they until they uh they might end up being out of stock and then I won't have any more. So I might have to just get some parts so I've got some ready to go and because you break things. If you're having a good crack at it, you're gonna break it eventually. So unfortunately that's the way it works. So those two there and this this motor's actually not stock either in this one. So yeah, this is a, I love the, I must say, this poor body, she's, she's a ripper. I mean, it's, it's had some good bashes. It's got some cracks in the front, but look. And the amazing thing is, if, this is obviously a short course. You see the body and you look at the, the actual rest of it and you think, that's, that's not really that big. Um, so this one here, you see it's got, it's got a, a, what is it, a Novak, it's a Novak ESC, um, censored, and a, a, a Orion, Orion, uh, Orion motor there to 36 or 3700, um, I think, I've got the box somewhere, but that, that's lots of fun, um, I think my shock has made me to be sorted out on this one i know that i had to fill them right up one day i went and checked them and found there was no oil so that was really great you should always check your oil um if you if you see that they've got a slight leak well you either need to keep, keep filling them up or pull them out and restore them and put new um seals and stuff or whatever piston might be broken or something's wrong so anyway it's good to you got to keep on on your maintenance uh, I'm doing bigger maintenance. I've learnt too that motors, if you don't keep watching your bearings, sometimes um, you just need to keep an eye on your bearings and your motors because uh, otherwise, if they stuck, if they get stuck, well, you're not gonna, your motor's not gonna be too good after because if they get the, the bearings end up wrecked, um, they'll go spit it through and then stuff the whole thing up. So, but yeah, so that's them. <laughs> I mean, I just, I've had a lot of fun with these, both of them. And uh, i got a helicopter there. It's a bit of fun. Uh, I haven't used that for a while, but it really doesn't work outside. The side bit of wind, she's gone. So, 
So that's that. I'll just spin you around here and back to this one. So, yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick little video and show you what is happening. Um, this one here, I hope to do a bit more. I've got to actually work out the body posts and and I will work that out and it'll be good. So, this one. I really like that body paint, the the the, the um the body on this one, the way of it's come coming out of painting it. So it's um yeah, it works. It's really good too. It's very visible as you're driving and looks great. So that's it, guys, for this one. Just a quick little video, the quick little um this one here, this stand. Very easy to make, guys. Stands are not. Hard to make. Um, if you can weld, have a go at it. All I did was this. As I see, I bent some. We bent some of that plate and bent it like that, so it's in a bit of a V-ish shape. So it holds the chassis good in there. Excuse me. Um, and I made it so you could swivel. I've got a a nut on there which I've got to actually weld that up. Weld the nut into the under the actual bolt there and then you can screw it up and tighten it so it's not so not going to be free and running everywhere if you want to just but if you want to just swivel it to work on the, the other side instead of leaning over or whatever you can so anyway just a bit of an idea and they're all it is so you know is a bit of rod a bit of flat um a flat plate make the end with a bit of a point so doesn't doesn't grab until you can have that swivel effect swivel um swivel happening when you need to just spin it around and obviously with so with this part you're looking at here the bit of pipe there um just make it a bit shorter than the rod then the rod it slips over so then you see it will not hit the bottom that i'm pointing my finger at but that rod has got to be a bit longer than this, than the actual, than this here I'm pointing at, a bit of pipe, so you don't have on the bottom that it's not going to grab there either. So it's just, yeah, anyway, a bit of a trick. I reckon I'm going to make them for my, all my cars, all the three of them, so they're up on the jacks and not sitting on the wheels so much, and they won't um, leave you, like, Really, guys, you want to be using your car as much as you can. They don't want to be on the shelf all the time, do they? But when they're on the shelf, you can have them so the tyres are not sitting there and getting flat spots. And, yeah. Anyway, hope you liked this video. I'll catch you next time.